The South Dakota Attorney General faces possible impeachment and growing calls to resign after police say he hit and killed a man with his car last September. Jason Roundsburg was charged with three misdemeanors. He told detectives he thought he hit a deer. After video of him being questioned was shared this week, a judge ordered that no more information on the criminal investigation be released. Our lead national correspondent David Begno has the story. And then, quite frankly, wham. That is Jason Roundsburg, South Dakota's attorney general. This was one of his interrogation videos in which he appeared uncomfortable and looked like he had a hard time making eye contact with the investigators who wanted to know what happened. I'm thinking it's a deer at this point. Roundsburg is South Dakota's top law enforcement officer. It was the night of September 12th, 2020. Roundsburg was heading home for a Republican fundraiser, driving down this rural road in the central part of South Dakota, when officials say he struck and killed 55-year-old Joseph Beaver, who was walking down the side of the road. Roundsburg called 911 that night. 911, this is Allie. How can I help you? Well, Allie, I'm the Attorney General. I hit something by Highmore and it's in the middle of the road. One of the other things that we know, Jason, is you weren't in the middle of the road. You were on the shoulder. Roundsburg claims he didn't realize he hit anyone until he returned to the scene the next day. But investigators point out inside of his damaged vehicle were the victim's glasses. They're Joe's glasses. I wondered, I wondered, I wondered about that. So that means his face came through your windshield. Roundsburg is facing three charges, but they're all misdemeanors. You know, before South Dakota's Governor Kristi Noem was ordered to remove those videos from the Internet on Thursday, this is what she had to say about her decision to release them. These interviews, we specifically asked for the family's consent to do that. So we are going to continue to ask the family uh, what to release, what they're okay with throughout this process. Now, a spokesperson for the attorney general said that the AG does not intend to resign. And at no time has this issue impeded his ability to do the work of the office. But still, state lawmakers are planning to move forward next week with proceedings to impeach the attorney general. For CBS This Morning, I'm David Begno. When you look at that interrogation, it's really disturbing. One of the yep. things the officers pointed out is that Mr. Beaver's flashlight was still on. So they were saying it couldn't have been a deer because we know a deer doesn't have yeah. a flashlight, but the, the light from the flashlight was still on. I'm sure the Beaver family has a lot of questions. The, those calls for him to resign are coming from both sides, Republicans yes. and Democrats. It would be interesting should. how long he can maintain that position. And investigators are saying down. you weren't in the middle of the road, you're on the shoulder. Exactly. And also, how did you not notice the, the, the glasses? A I mean, his office is saying it doesn't impede his ability to do his job. If I hit somebody and killed them and they came through my windshield, yes. I would trouble, have trouble coming to work the yes. next day. Yeah. Exactly right.